Hello comrade and welcome back to my cold series. We have big plans, so let's start. Hello and welcome back. Hope you have a great sunny day. First of all, waste update has dropped and it's quite problematic. We'll talk a little bit about that. And I also have some plans for this series. So let's start with that. The series is going on for quite some time. I have tested out the effects of exporting massive amounts of coal ore and coal related products to see the impact on pricing on the market. So we export massive amounts over the border, around 25,000 tons per month. I want to double it and even a little bit more. And I want the series to go on until the year 1980 and I will make a conclusion Look at the prices, look what we have done in the last 20 years and see what happens if you do something a little bit more crazy in this game. And regarding true waste update, was a little bit problematic. So not only that the new version is a little bit unstable and can destroy safe games, also the old version suffers because mods getting updated to the waste stuff and break the game. So I also had the problem that my game didn't start. Please refer to the forums, the bug reports, the Steam community. They are helpful and try to support Peter and his team. They're really trying their best to fix the situation and updates coming out left and right. So just be patient and it will be all good. If you have backups of your safe game, you are safe. And if not, just make a little break of the game. Maybe enjoy the weather. But now we are here and I want to proceed. So we have mostly uh, done with the coal. Ah, and my plans regarding true waste. If it is stable enough, I want to make a live stream and I think it will come soon. Um, where I implement waste in realistic mode in this Republic, which is a little bit bigger. So we will see the impacts of what what will happen if you switch on waste and um, yeah, try to make it happen in one stream, one sitting and see where it takes us. Ooh, rain. Mm. I'm very excited. I have to think about the format, how I will do it, uh, either solo or with a friend. I'm not sure yet, but yeah, news will come. Stay alerted. Next one. Let's take a look uh, for our bricks. Yeah, I think we can go for a little shopping trip to um, export lots of bricks. So at the moment we are exporting coal ore and energy. And the next thing is bricks because bricks are r closely related to our coal. So bricks are 100% coal and I want to see if bricks have an influence Ooh. Uh, bricks have influence of the prices if I for example start to export massive amounts of uh, bricks <laughs> do they lower our coal price and to do that I need some wagons to export them mm. export them bricks you know so we go here cargo wagon we go uh, total capacity we take these ones so I want to fit out three, three trains. Um, yeah, twelve should be enough for wagons by train. You will see in a moment where this all is going to. Okay, so here's my locomotive. You please go here and. Go there. Yep. And on the other hand, I have a second locomotive. Your friend. You go on the opposite road. So you go here and come back to your Home Depot. Like here. Okay. And off your trot. Oh, oh, ooh. Ooh. Hmm. Wait a minute. Okay. Okay. Try it again. This time better. Okay. 
you go here and you go home you go here and load uh what yes load and go home no what maybe you need to where are you going okay substantially disoriented train try again or maybe you wait until he's home okay so i think the waste update is a fine job but you see here <laughs> texture flickering i also have seen it in other games uh, other people's uh, games so yeah it's a substantial update. I think it's one of the biggest updates they ever have done, but it also has its quirks. Hmm. But we are on a early access and this is the testing version, so oh, I think we have to live with it. On the other hand, it is content which is added for free and the game develops and develops and it has its upsides and downsides. At the moment we experience some downsides, but hey, have to live with it. Okay. Here's my coal ore generation. Two 80% mines, just to recall. Here I have a mine for the brick uh, supply, two processing plants. And I have a conveyor here. Should be done soon. Okay. And four factories exporting bricks. This thing here hopefully is, do, is done soon mm, so I can signal it up properly at the moment is signaled up for construction so yeah you're not assigned let's assign you go to my little construction office it's like here yeah. no <laughs> oh I love the night at least I can see where I'm clicking <laughs> ah, yeah, here you are. We'll do this one. This one. Okay. Good. Should be done very quickly. And back we go our depot yeah okay nobody's home hopefully our lost train will find a way hmm Nothing to see. Oh, is it the first one? Yes, here you are. Okay, found you. Will be exciting how much bricks we can export over the small border post. The big border post is much faster in unloading trains. Mm, it's a little bit slower in unloading and loading road vehicles, but on trains, the bigger border post is really, really, really superior. I think we created really some nice stuff in this season. 
the main focus was, like I said, on coal exports to lower the prices. But it was a nice ride. All built in realistic mode, never went out of it. And I'm quite excited how the implementation of waste in the live stream goes for this Republic. Because it's a little bit bigger Republic and it's a challenge and I think we are facing the challenge together. I'm sure many of you want to implement waste. Or don't, <laughs> it's okay. So I have a series for example where I play on an island and uh, have no seasons on. You have the full choice. Don't feel bad if you don't use everything that the game offers. It's uh, really, really for everything. Everybody can find his thing to do. Go either for the challenging parts or create some beautiful republics. It's all okay. I'm more interested in the technical parts and in how the game works, how you can manage and uh, maybe also beat the mechanics of the game. So that's why I create this series and the next series will be even more fun, I think, under this perspective. Let's fit out our first train. Go, oh, yep. And we... Go here to our open storage, which works like a cargo station, and I will pull out from this and this medium storage, and they are fed to the the brick factories are feeding to the medium storage, and I will pull out through. So they will not fill out this one because it's the second level of storage. This one is pushed by the factories, but it will not go away, which is fine. I could uh, create something to make the factories connection active like a forklift, but why? Because you will see in a minute, it will load from here, it will pull out here into this vehicle. So, yeah, one of the quirky game mechanics in the game. Let's catch the train and drive back. Oh, and the trains are freely to go wherever they want to, please. <laughs> uh, because there's... Uh, the signal link is still under construction signaling, so... They are free rain. Which... Uh, at the moment is not problematic, because there's only one train on the road. But it can be problematic in the future, so I need to signal up this one. But we will see. Let's take our first turn, and... Export the first bricks in this playthrough. Made some videos about rail system designs, which I think is good and not so good. For example, having dedicated uh, passenger lines, like you see here, so the cargo lines never meet with the passenger lines. It's the Queen's way, left side drive, or the King's now. Yeah. So, do you fit? You fit. Okay, and you see here, it pulls through. So the storage is never filled up, but the storage is fed by the medium storages left and right. And the whole system springs to life and transport new bricks. The amount of bricks which are transported is massive and I don't think it will um, it will be faster to export them than to produce them, but yeah, it's a good experiment. Okay, my friend, here. It's possible that you are finishing soon. 
Let's do something new. You are okay. Start here and tell them to go the right way. Yeah. So. Hopefully he's not so confused about the new situation. Two way. Yeah, out, chain in. On the turning loop here, block our in, chain out. Okay, good. I always have turning loops at the end of um, roads that uh, or frail roads have no dead ends. So where's the second train delivering more wagons? Hmm. Let's take a look if we find him. Here are my bricks. You are waiting. You are confused. Yes, you are. Let's turn around and go for a ride. Mm hmm. Want you? And this is why uh, turning loops are great. So he should find a way, because I have a bit in turning loops everywhere. So I'm sure that even though he's not allowed to drive. The one way which I told him to, he now can find his way and make a turn. Let's go on top of speed and see where he's going. A little bit of a rail centric episode, but I like my rails. So, yeah, he's going to the rail yard here. Oh. Ooh. Here, where he can turn around. Hopefully. Okay. Because this rail yard is also a big turnaround loop and should be a one way station at some point. Mm. Now I'm lost him. Ah, here you are. Okay. And now he's on the right side of the track, as he should be, and we can fit out the next trains. Also, we can signal up this one here, because I think it is ready. Okay. Back to the signal like we go. So we come in here right side. Yes. Then we have some blocks. Let's make them as long as possible. This is the way out. Okay. And then we have the end of the waiting block. We need some chains so nobody waits inappropriately. Here and here and there. Okay. And we can add some blocks. Hey. Yes. Okay. So you are waiting here. Where's your behind dangling? Ooh, this could be a problem. Mm, but I don't need a signal here. No. No, I don't need it. Mm, I need a signal here. Yes. So the next one can follow. Okay. Good. Train lengths are always a 
special thing. If you don't pay attention, you can run into troubles. But the measuring tool is a great addition to this. I really love it. So this new segment is signaled up properly. Hello. Okay. Mm. Good. And <laughs> this one is also construction signaling. So you go here. And you go there. Maybe I need to have a deeper thought about this one. Mm. But not now. We'll be fine. There's only one train driving here in, uh, pulling out coal. It's the train which also supports the steel mill. So, yeah. I always um, adjust my train network to the amount of traffic I get. So the more traffic I wait, the closer I pay attention to my problems or possible problems. If I know there's only one train in the system driving there, I'm completely relaxed. So do I miss some wagons here? Oh, How many wagons do you got? Four. Mm. Okay. So you go. And... Missing two wagons? What's going on? Yep. Here you are. Okay. Good. So, bricks are exporting faster and faster. At least that's what I hope to see. Here's the first one. Next one. I will have three trains. I have another additional waiting block, so everything is fine. Okay. So they should not wait until... I'm sorry for scrolling, but let me check. Oh, train lengths are absolutely okay. Okay. So let's jump to our newest town, which is this one here. It's uh, Enterfob. And here... The rail construction has, is creeping through the landscape. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Building tunnels. Okay. Okay. The construction office is associated on the way. From the one side, from the other side here. Hopefully they are working fine. So I have... Uh, ah! He's also building a tunnel. Do I want him to build a tunnel? Nah, let him be. Okay. So here's the next train yard, which is for construction materials, uh, which should come from the bigger one. And uh, we are producing more coal. What the, <laughs> what the big surprise. Um, also, here's a little prefab panel and cement construction for my Republic. Not the, so it's only for self-sufficiency. I always added to every coal district some special production. Just to see different setups. Okay. Let's assign everybody in the vicinity to our projects. Thank you. Good. So they can start soon. You are also not done? Side here. We have our little gravel import here. Via cable ways. Okay. So I always assign construction offices which contain workers uh, at last. 
So everything is built and every material is delivered and if they start constructing, like here for example, oh, it's not everything is delivered, but if they start constructing, it will be go fast. Because usually everything waits for each other. You have material on one construction site and people on the other side, so it's not good. Okay, but the slowest thing is the rail, so I'm a little bit more relaxed. I cannot do anything about it. I have several rail construction offices and this is one of them. Let's see. Can I get service rail here over this one? Yes, I can. Okay, make it a little more pretty. Yes, you can also. Okay. Good. And then here. And more service rail somewhere here. Export, export. Go away, map. Thank you. So this rail construction office is here. That's everything it needs. Except of a fast track builder. Because we only have a medium border. Quite bad. Okay. Okay. But we have border access nonetheless. So, yeah. It's only the... Last mile, so to speak, here on this side. And on the other side, it's a little bit of a bigger task. Mm. Why don't I have a tun tunneler here? I hear myself ask. Cry. Whatever. Give me a tunneler. Go faster. Okay. So I can... Uh, what? Ah, I see. Okay. Let's wait for the tunneler. Where are you? Hopefully not at a completely wrong border. Let's see. Oh, he's driving. Okay. Good. Good old stunning boring machine. Yeah. So things are progressing as fast as they could, but yeah. ah, and you see the open door. Hmm, fantastic. These little things, I also like these improvements, you know. So having ah, and she's going away. Also fantastic. So he's making room for the tunnel boring machine. Yes. Please don't collide, my friends. Oh. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Getting smarter from day to day. What will happen next? Let's associate these ones here. Okay. Good. Next one. Yes. Okay. I will make... Where uh, is my construction? Yeah, this one. I want to make you a priority. So maybe they don't collide all the time. Okay. Ah, town is growing. That's nice. Okay. So the extension of End of Hope is done. I planned around last episode or the episode before. I need to upgrade my heating capacity, I think. But it will be for next episode. Mm -hmm. Good, good. So, I think we can go to Shotgun Town, check it out, and see what's there. Yeah. Shotgun Town, the simplest town ever built. <laughs> right next to the oil refinery. Yes, because we can. No. Mm -hmm. 
Iron Refinery works fine. Yes. Okay. Here's also our second power plant. Ah, and I can now make it as a secondary power plant. So this uh, power plant does not work all the time and does not add to the poisonous environment here. <laughs> but poison somewhere else. I want to um, extend this rail here. So let's start with the rail setup. Construction setup. Like this. And that. Yes. Thank you, map. Construct you. Okay. And like this and that. What should go wrong? Ah, the fa first one is arriving. How oh, sweet. Good. The next one is also going somewhere. Let's check it out. Because I don't trust them. Good. So, I hope they will not collide. Ah, they will not collide. Fantastic. What about the endpoint here? So, we have another big border here. Mm, so, this here. And you are hopefully. No, you aren't. Are you assigned? No. Why should you? Okay. Nope. This is the submission office. Yes. This is what I'm searching for. So this is a nice way to earn some doleros and um, export me maybe the next batch of coal if I dig somewhere somewhere more up. Okay, good. So with that, I think we can go to our big city again. Here we are. And I hope I see you next time, either to a live stream or to a new episode of this little coal adventure. And yeah, looking forward to finishing the episode off and the season off and having some conclusions about call exports. Until next time, bye comrade!